the goal of this meeting is really for us to collectively share expertise, knowledge, and ideas as to how we can improve upon the drug development process so that we can get more treatments to patients. I'm Craig Martin, CEO of Global Genes, and it's a great pleasure to welcome people to the Rare Drug Development Symposium, which we do in partnership with the Orphan Disease Center at UPenn. One of the things that we've done differently this year with the Drug Development Symposium is rather than having different panel sessions and people speak and people listen and then people go away and get back to their lives, this time around we thought let's all get together in groups and, and tackle topics and come up with ideas with the goal of really finding actionable things that we can work on together. No one wants to sit in an audience after two years and listen to seminars and lectures and, you know, for lack of a better word, just people speaking at you, not with you. And so the decision was made to make this interactive. It's important to bring all the players to the table to hear everybody's voices. At the end of the day, we all want the same thing. We might be speaking different languages. We might be going about it in different ways, but we want treatments for the patients in a reasonable amount of time that are cost effective. What's so cool about it is that it's rare disease organizations that are coming together to talk about drug development. 10 or 15 years ago, that would have been a crazy concept. Well, why would rare disease patients be talking about drug development? That's what pharmaceutical companies do and academic researchers do. No, rare disease organizations, patients, parents, we have to be a part of this. And not only do we have to be at the table, I'm very biased, but I believe we should be pushing things forward because we are the ones that are most incentivized to get to the solution that's best for society, and that's treatments that save lives. Really, for us, given the mountain we have to climb, the only way to get there is with collaboration. So at the heart of this event is, is collaborative thinking and collaborative action. The Rare Drug Development Symposium is a great opportunity to come together and bring representatives from the families, from the foundations, and the researchers in one place. It is so important for these members of the rare disease community to know what's going on on the research. They need to find ways to move this forward, and they don't get the chance to do this very often. You know, we have a lot of meetings where we meet between advocates and between other families, but they don't get to actually talk to the scientists and talk to the researchers. So this is our great opportunity where we can make this happen. I'm a great believer in network effects. And this is, you know, coming to a conference like the RDDS is an opportunity to develop strong network effects and benefit from the, the synergy and the serendipity of being in the same place at the same time with very smart people who care about all the same things you do. So that's the thing I think is the best. Meetings like this are, are you know, super important for allowing different stakeholders in the community to engage and talk to each other. I really want to thank our partners at the Orphan Disease Center at UPenn, as well as all of the, the sponsors, funders, and the experts who give of their time to be here and make it the event that it is. Without their participation and support, none of this would be possible, and the work that we're doing here is really important. Everyone will recognize that it required not just the village, not just the team, but the entire community to move this forward. I encourage everyone to consider the next 2023 Rare Drug Development Symposium.